Hi, uh, Pastor David here, just coming online for about the 15th time because I've tried to record this and it's been a bit naff, but coming online uh, today just to give you an update in terms of our response as a local church to the recent COVID-19 outbreak. You know, as a local church, we're part of the Elim movement and Elim um, wrote to us yesterday to give us some directives as to how church should be happening over the next coming weeks and months. So we met as a leadership team last night, the Bethany Church leadership team, to discuss how we respond to all of that stuff. So the outcome is that this coming Sunday, uh, all church gatherings are going to cease here at Bethany Church for the uh, foreseeable future. Also, all group gatherings at the church are also going to cease. So that means like our, all of our kids groups, all of our seniors groups all, all of our different groups that happen in church they're going to cease as well so uh, look out for notifications as to when that stuff is going to happen again but just to let you know that that will all be stopping for the foreseeable future so we've got a big challenge because um, we've never been in this territory before we've never not been able to meet on a sunday in my time here so it's a huge challenge so to meet that challenge we're hoping to put together well we will put together a digital service for this coming sunday so as part of that service, there'll be some worship, there'll be some prayer, there'll be some updates from the Bethany Church family. We'll have a preach and you'll be able to access that online via YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all those kind of platforms. You can access the church service via those platforms. So look out for uh, links, updates, all that kind of stuff. So uh, in terms of meeting needs on the ground, Jackie Kay came to visit me earlier on in the week and said, Do you know, Dave, I'd really love to just be in a place where uh, I can be like a contact, a link person to help people if they have got pressing needs. So um, we sent out an email earlier today with a couple of phone numbers on there. If you've got any uh, health needs or uh, any need any support or need any prescriptions picking up or need some prayer or just need a chat we can do all of that for you so do look out for the phone numbers we'll be communicating more about that as the weeks and the months uh, move ahead so on a community footing we've decided to open our building to uh, the Gatley community help group so they're going to be storing some supplies and resources for people who may have to self-isolate so we're looking to serve our community in that way also the pace team have been running around Gatley today dropping leaflets into houses for the Gatley community help group uh, we've got a number of people at church who are involved in that group so we're just looking to meet people's needs as and when they come up so do be encouraged and you know the times like this it's easy to be very very anxious um you know proverbs says cast your anxieties onto him because he cares for you and i was just thinking about that earlier on in the week i was in the supermarket and uh, the every park, car parking space was full the, the shelves were being emptied and uh, there were many shelves where I was thinking, shall I put in double or triple of what I need? And I thought, do you know what? I'm not gonna panic, I'm not gonna be anxious, I'm not gonna be like everybody else, just looking out for myself. I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. So that's the kind of heart and attitude I think God's looking for. He's looking for us to look to the needs of others and not just to our own needs at this time. So it's like thinking and praying, Lord, how can I help a neighbor, a shut-in person? How can I uh, phone someone, connect with someone uh, from my church community? You know, what can I do to help uh, alleviate people's anxieties around me? So I want to encourage us all to be in a place like that. You know, I, I reckon that um, prayer is the bedrock for our peace. You know, if we, we want to be people who are without anxiety, we have to present our requests to God that's what the scripture says so that the peace of God that passes under uh, all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus so at times like this we learn to pray again and I want to encourage you to just be intimate with the Lord praying seeking him reading the word asking for direction encouragement wisdom in your family situations 
doing all, all of that kind of stuff. So, so let's be people who use this crisis as an opportunity for intimacy with our Jesus. God bless you all.